What's going on today, YouTube? Welcome back to your favorite cyclist YouTube channel. In another episode, we're working on Project Mongoose here. So, might be wondering what we're we working on today. Well, before I get into that, if you are not subscribed to my channel, make sure you head down below, hit that subscribe button for me. If you already are subscribed, make sure you hit that little bell icon next to that. That way, you get notified every time I upload. That way, you don't miss any great content on this channel. So, right into Project Mongoose here, looking pretty fly after that nice lagoon paint job that we did a couple videos ago and we are on to reassembling this frame and reassembling this bike getting it up and going so what's the first thing i'm gonna be focusing on well first thing i want to do is get the wheels back on this bike because right now it's just a frame and it's in millions of pieces across my garage so i need to put this bike back together so with the wheels on there i can then roll around and it's a lot easier to move everything around all at once so main thing we need to focus on obviously we're able to pop right on that's no big deal at all we need to get the fork on. So that's what we're doing today. We're actually going to be working on getting the headset reinstalled on this bike and then getting that fork installed as well. Make sure everything's nice and tight, nice and nice and solid for everything. So here we are, Project Mongoose right here, right up at the head tube. And what we're working on today, this is going to be a threaded headset and threaded fork that we're working on. But if you don't know which one you have, check out the video I did a couple of videos ago. I made a whole video about what the difference is. We're working on a threaded headset today. So well, pretty much what we got. I still have the headset cups in there. I didn't bother taking those out. So those are still already installed. One on the top, one on the bottom. Got the fork here all painted, ready to go. And then I got my nice baggie here from when we disassembled the bike. That has my bearings, the, and the, what is that? The race for the top, and then the lock nut for the top as well. So pretty simple to put this back together. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead, grab our fork here, and a tube of grease, you're gonna need that. We're gonna grab our fork here. So as you can tell, Sorry, I did some sanding. So there's kind of dust everywhere, but there we go. So as you can tell, it's a little bit of a race right down here on the bottom of this fork here. So with this race down here at the bottom, pretty much that lets the bearings nicely glide over here without getting hung up on anything. So that's already gonna be there ready to go. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab a set of bearings here. So we're gonna go ahead and put our bearings on. Pretty much we're gonna put the cage part down right over that there. And then I'm gonna get my tube of grease here. And we're gonna go ahead and grease these bearings up. Get it all looking good. Let's see, get a little bear bear, a little bit of grease in here. Oh, my grease is a little frozen. It's cold, by the way, in case you were curious. I think it's 37 right now. And it's like middle of the afternoon. So, yeah, so all my stuff's kind of frozen. But we're out here doing this because it's a lot better than out last year when I was outside on my apartment porch. So there we go, got that grease all on there ready to go. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and slide that up right inside the head tube, just like so. All right, and you can see right up here, this is our this part up here is nice and threaded. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab our other set of bearings here. And let's see here, let's do, uh, it's not quite gonna work like I want it to. All right, so we'll just set that here. I'll we'll squeeze a little bit of grease out on our workbench. All right, got that one all greased up. And then same thing, I have a cage facing out in this case, so the ball, the ball bearings facing down. So you got those all installed. And then in this case, let's see what we got. So we got our lock nut for the top. We got our race for the bearings. And looks like we got a little spacer too. Ooh, don't lose that. So let's see, so we'll go ahead, get this here. So this is your race for the bearings for the top. So we're gonna go ahead and screw this sucker down all the way. Ooh, it's a little, there we go. All right. Well, a couple little burrs in there, that's not a big deal. Let's see, all right. So we're gonna screw that down here. So pretty much with this one here, this here, this little uh, race on the top is also going to be creating the tension on your bearings. Make sure it's nice and nice and solid. Not going to be any rattling while you're riding your bike. It's not going to be too tight that you can't steer your bike at all. So with this here, we're going to do. We're going to tip our stand down just a little bit. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're. It's not super loose, so I can loosen this up for you. So you shouldn't be able to do that because if you do that, you can also move this back and forth. Your fork back and forth here. So you don't want it that loose. And then if we over tighten it, like to there, you'll see that you turn your fork and your fork doesn't move. It just stops where it was. 
So you kind of need to get this nice sweet spot right in the middle, which should be right about there. So pretty much you want to go to the point where you turn the bars and they'll go back to the center like so. And it's just a little bit of, a little bit of oldness in there. There we go. So you're going to just be like, just like that where they'll go back to the center, but not just flop around all loose. And then when you grab the, the crown right here up on the fork, if you grab that and try and move it, you don't want it to move at all. So that's set right there. And in this case, I got this little washer for this one. So we'll pop that washer in there like so. All right. And get our lock nut right up on the top here. And you can put a little bit of grease in here. I'll probably put a little bit just to make sure I can get this off again if I ever need to. There we go. Just a little bit of grease on the threads there. And we'll go ahead get this started to thread on for this. Let's see. There we go. That threaded on. And I'm not going to put it on as tight as it was when I first had this, where I had to use my impact gun to get it off. What we're going to do, we're just going to get this nice and snug. There we go. Let's see if we're still looking good. And it might be a little tight. Let's see. We'll back it off just a little bit there. Back this one off too. There we go. And we'll give that another little tighten there. Ooh, there we go. Now we're looking solid. So there we go. A little bit looser. All right. That should be pretty dang good. All right. Oh, there we go. All right, so yeah, you just pretty much have to play around with the tension between your race down here at the bottom and the lock nut. Sometimes it wants to work really nice with just your, with your, um, just your race down here. The other times it works really well with the lock nut. You kind of just got to mess around with the tension between the two, loosen this up a little bit, tighten this down, and eventually you will get it just right that it will nicely and smoothly turn side to side. So there's our fork right there, all installed there. Fork is installed, headsets installed. Got the front of the bike all set to go again. There we have it, got Project Mongoose, got the fork and headset all assembled here. Got my wheels back on the bike so I can roll it around and not have to just shove everything in different corners of the garage. So this is great. This bike is definitely starting to take shape as a bike again, which is awesome. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave this video a big thumbs up. Appreciate the support. Next week, we should be going and working on getting the bottom bracket installed on this bike, getting that all set and back on there which will be great. After that, really, it's just kind of simple stuff, brakes, gears, and pass then. Okay, not quite simple stuff. But after that, bike will be taking shape on how it's gonna be looking. If you guys have any comments or questions about anything that happened in this video, let me know down in the comment section below. Appreciate the support, love, talk, love talking with all you guys, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching today.